themselves and it was often in the way of synchronicities that's quite a a big thing um throughout i mean pretty much the entirety of the paranormal topic but especially ufo sightings or alien abduction it seems to play quite a big part in all of that so during yeah those sort of early times of the paranormal uh i kind of got into the work of mike cleland and he has done a lot of research into the concept of owls, synchronicity, and alien abduction, and how these three elements kind of just go hand in hand for so many people. And I don't know what it was. I watched one of his lectures at a university just on YouTube, and I don't know what I couldn't even explain to you, but it was like that light switch moment where something was just switched in my mind, and I was like, this is speaking to me in ways that. I don't know because I'd always I'd always enjoyed the topic of alien abduction, but never had I sort of run with, I guess, like a theory like I did in this kind of case. Um, and then, yeah, literally a month later, I was driving home late one night, early in the morning, and um, I was thinking about the sort of previous month of doing all this research into synchronicity because I never really thought much about synchronicity in general, but the whole idea of a meaningful coincidence just really rang true to myself. And once again, I'm probably going to say this a lot of like, I don't know why this is, or I can't really explain it. It was just this really strong feeling, um, like a lot of this kind of has been the entire time. But um, so I was driving home, and at that time, um, it was quite some years ago, and my car didn't have like an ox cord so i was literally i was burning podcasts onto cds and um i'd kind of just i wouldn't even have time to like label them so i'd kind of just you know put them in this like big kind of cd book and just kind of throw them in while i was on these sort of long drives and i put a episode in a podcast in but i wish i'd heard some months earlier about synchronicity uh, and alien abduction and it was with rob and trish mcgregor um doing an interview about one of their recent books at that time. And I was listening to that thinking about, oh, you know, I remember I remember this story. I, I remember them with that book quite vividly when I sort of first started to do this research. And then I was really thinking about the kind of, the, how owls kind of play into this phenomena. And also earlier that week, I'd also listened to a podcast with Mike Cleland, as well because he was doing a podcast at one point and he was speaking to an Australian researcher who was doing a lot of regression uh, hypnosis work with um, people from all around the world, but she was based here in Australia. And Mike asked that researcher, have you ever had an experience 